Wow, would you just look at this amazing view from the top of a condo here in York. Actually, in the borders of York and uh, Old Charles, just not just around the corner from where I live. And uh, where's the moon? Oh, there it is. Now my camera wants to go out of focus. I don't know why it does it all the time, but back in April, uh, I uh, went up here to this exact same spot to film a video of this amazing view of the downtown skyline as, as well as the other cluster of, uh, of buildings, of course, over there and to the north. And it was filmed in the late morning. Right now, it's, uh, what's the time right now? Let me uh, check right now and see. 808 in the evening. Yes, early evening here. Friday, June 10th. And God, as a born and raised Torontonian, I always have to show up my pride and love for the CN Tower and uh, the, uh, the skyscrapers over by, by the financial district. And uh, of course, those condos are at the South Core and the City Place. And Lake Ontario is clearly visible. It's a very nice evening out. And it's not too hot, not, not too humid. It's, it's probably gonna rain tomorrow, as well as on Sunday. So there's one blur east, soon to be accompanied by one blur west, which will be the tallest tower in Canada. And there's the Hudson's Bay building. There's first Canadian place, Scotia Plaza, more financial district skyscrapers. Of course, condos are the, the condos right by the waterfront, and of course, this shot right here. Oh my gosh, this is a good, this is a good thumbnail opportunity. Or, hmm, maybe I could uh, change my profile picture again to make it look like just the CN Tower itself from this view, but I rather prefer it up close. So this is uh, looking to the west now. There is Humber Bay Shores. There's a junction that's red building over there. There's Hamilton, Ontario. It was clearly visible last time I was up here. Still is, especially on an evening like this. There's the towers of York. Actually, in the buildings in York. I don't even know what where that funky little building is. There is Mississauga, the neighboring city to the west. Well, geographically southwest. And, uh, that is right on Blackburn Avenue, just in my other area. There is Young and Eglinton, also known as Midtown Toronto. And uh, that's at Young and Davisville. I was there on Wednesday. There is. Okay, I think I gotta go a little more this way. So I could try and catch the, uh, the radio tower. And it's uh, not in my sight because of these damn buildings over there. Anyway, there's Scarborough City Center. Over there, it's clearly visible. I think those far buildings, like way in the distance, probably must be on Markham Road or Cowan Road. It's definitely in Scarborough for sure. More buildings in Scarborough. This is North York now. That's looking towards Don Mills and Shepherd, also known as Henry Farm. There, there, there are the fake Chrysler buildings right by Bayview and Shepherd. And there is Willowdale, Young and Shepherd. I'm gonna do a walking video there sometime this month. There's Norfolk Civic Center. Young and Finch. Let me walk a little closer here. That building over there, that condo is right at Young and Steels. So that's looking towards the York region now. And still North York. Alright. Uh, let me stop here for a second. Uh, 
There's a subway train. Yes, that's looking over Allen Road and uh, Line 1, of course, and there's Newman Park. So this is where the sun is setting, and it's going to set at an 8.59, so less than an hour from now. So here's a good, well, it's probably hazy, because like I just said, the sun is, is a, because we're facing west. There's a hazy view into North York, Etobicoke. Again, when I filmed this in, in the late morning back in April, it was a very clear day. There's a plane in the sky. Look at that. Where's the airport? There it is. Here's YYZ. It's a madhouse right now. Some people call it the worst airport in the world. And that's where this guy's landing. Okay, I hear sirens. Are they coming from Marley Avenue? Marley is just right down there. Oh. Don't see it. That's Stainer Avenue. Keep going up Marley. That's Viewmount. And then Glen Karen is off to that right over there. There's. Well, okay, can't really see you. It's a. That's, that's Lawrence South Center. There's Vaughn Metropolitan Center. I was actually there on Wednesday for my banquet. That's a Dufford and Lawrence, as you can see there. And uh, you can't really see a whole lot more because, you know, like I, like I said, it's hazy. But that's looking to the northwest end of the city. And I think these uh, apartment buildings are probably by Black Creek Drive. Those ones are by Caledonia Road. There is the Ingram. Okay, that small little building over there, that's on Keel Street. And then there's a radio tower. You guys live around here, pretty sure you may know where this is. I'm not gonna give it the exact location. There's Hamilton. Oh, fire truck! Fire truck! There we go, we found our culprit here. Fire response. But I came over to this side. Wow. I mean, he's probably gonna come out here. Not that good of an angle, but there's sirens wailing in the city. Wonder if it's. Wonder if it's all here. Or is it coming down Rodell? I want to point the camera down. Nope. Continuing going down Marley Avenue. And then there's a look at Humber Bay Shores, right by Lake Ontario. That is it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Just a very stunning view of Toronto from up here. Just right next to York and Old Toronto. I'm gonna post this. Actually, I'm gonna edit this when I get back home and uh, I'll play right away as I've kind of run out of content. Well, for now, anyways, I'm gonna see what happens tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye bye.